welcome to another session of the hashing and welcome to fish farming tv since today we have been doing and practicing on catfish hashing which i i made a promise to you people that i will show you step by step uh, procedure on how to hash your catfish i have here my scale or when i went live in the morning i showed you how to prepare your pond for the hashing and this is the evening time and the time here is 5 52 so what i'm trying to do now i'm trying to inject the female catfish against tomorrow by tomorrow i'm going to be spawning and i'll fertilize it and spray it on the hashery pond the hashery is ready the next step now that we have now in the morning that was when i went live it was about preparation of the hashery process now it's evening time i want to in inject this fish so that by tomorrow morning after 12 or 13 or 14 hours the fish the female fish will be ready for hashing so i have here my medication overline if you don't have it you can get it overline and uh, if you don't know how to get it you can contact me on whatsapp i'll tell you how to get it but the only place that you can the only place that you can get this thing is at the feed shop or if you don't get if you don't have it or you don't know where to get it in your area you can contact me i can send it to you you will pay for it i will send it to you so we have a strange this is a strange 5 ml strange 5 ml strange you can get it this is what we are going to be using to inject the fish so this is our scale now i will bring the fish now i'll bring it out from the where i kept it then i will scale it i've already set my scale to zero i've already set my scale to zero as you can see it i've already set it to zero and this is the the basin that i'm going to put this fish on so let me keep it let me go and get the fish now go and get the fish This is the fish. You have to you need a blue stop that is very matured. A very matured blue stock, that's what you need. You need a matured blue stock. So this is it now. I'll place it on my scale to know exactly the amount of hormone that I'm supposed to inject on this fish. Place it, place it there. Let me see. Easy. Okay. This fish is around 3.8 kg. As you can see it on the scale. Let me zoom it if you cannot see it very well. Look at it there. 3.8 it's kg almost four kg fish so that is what i'm going to be using for this hashing so i want to inject this uh, hormone that i have there on the label of this hormone on the label they told us that we should use 0 0.5 ml per kg 0 0.5 ml is somewhere 0 0.5 ml is somewhere at the middle here this is 1 ml 2 ml 3 ml 4 ml 5 ml so 0 0.5 ml to be injected to 
um, um, one kg of fish. Now, what I have here is um, 3.8 kg. You can use a calculator. You can use a calculator. I'm using my calculator now. Wait. Let me use my calculator to show you. 3.8 times 0 0.5 hormone that I'm going to eject. It will give me 1.9. I don't know if you can see it. Look at it. 1.9. So 1.9 uh, quantity of uh, hormone, that is what I'm going to give this fish. You can shift this fish, remove this thing. Wait. <laughs> so, come on, remove the scale, remove the scale. I want to adjust the camera so that you can see it very well. <coughs> so let me get let me get the hormone. Where is the strange? Give me let me have the strange. Okay, look at the strange. So this is a very big fish and a very matured blue stock. This one is more than three years old. You can use it after this process, after three months, after using it for the first fish, you leave it. After three months, you can use it again. You don't need to kill a female fish. It's only the male that you can always kill to remove the... You don't need to kill it. Just hope dissect the stomach. When you dissect the stomach, you remove this and use it to fertilize after that you can eat it but this one after uh, uh, stripping the eggs after stripping the eggs you don't need to kill it just place it in the pond and be feeding them after like three months you can reuse it again is really stubborn now. I don't know what is wrong with this fish. Well, it's... Oh my god! So this fish is very big. It's a very big fish. So... Let me... Let me get the hormone. We, we say that we are injecting this fish uh, 0 0.1 point sorry 1.9 hormone almost two almost two ml so the the mark would be somewhere here let me let me collect some sample of this uh, hormone Five, about five. Okay. Look at it. I don't know if you can see it. It's not on that. Uh, it's not on two ml. Somewhere between, because that is zero point, one point nine. So one point nine. Each calibration of this thing is two. Each calibration of this thing is two, four, six, eight, ten. This is one, 
two four six eight ten. So it's the it is now is one point one point eight. So I make it to be in the middle between one point two point zero and the first mark there. So let me collect more. Yes, it's perfect now. So I will inject this fish. In case if your fish is not big enough like this, if your fish is not big enough like this, you don't need to you don't need to worry. If you can you can use a fish that is around 1.5 kg, 2 kg, but make sure that the fish is matured enough. Make sure that it's matured enough before you use it to hash. So I want to inject this fish now. You inject somewhere here. This is the fin, the dozer fin. I seen it. You inject somewhere here, like this. This is how you inject this fish, or this side. Any side you think. You can also inject through the stomach here, around this place, or here. But in this practical, I prefer using this area, this top area, for my practicals. So look at it now. Don't go closer to this, uh, this dozer fan. Just give something like um, some, some, it's not up to inches about three or five cm from this dozer fin then you inject the fish is calm so just slowly by tomorrow, this fish will be ready for stripping. I will strip all the egg from the stomach. So by tomorrow, I will start the spanning. So stay tuned to this channel. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, or this is the first time that you are seeing our, vi our video, and you are getting value for this video, please subscribe, give us a like. And if you have any question, you can drop it on the comment section below. I will attend to it. Gradually. Use a piece of cloth to hold it. Then you withdraw your needle. You can rub it, use your hand to rub it. Take all this thing. <clears throat> now, at this stage now, there is nothing else to do now than to return this fish in a pond. Only this fish on one pond. Don't double two fish in a single pond. The reason is this. If you are using more than one fish to hash, if you put them together in the night, they will get too aggressive in the night. And during fighting, they will waste all their eggs inside the water. Maybe when you come the next morning, you will find out that all the eggs is now wasted. So place them, if they are two or more than two, you have to look for a place to keep them one after the other. Each fish on one pond, each fish on one pond. So you don't keep them together. Now I will put this one now on the pond I have here at hand. Till tomorrow, look at the pond here. Oh yeah, return the fish to this pond. <clears throat> Easy.
easy. So this fish will be here. The fish will be here till tomorrow. By that time, the eggs are ready for stripping. Make sure that your male fish is ready also. Keep it somewhere handy so that in the morning, you can easily use it to fertilize your egg. So stay tuned. By tomorrow morning, I will do the proper practical on how to spray your egg on your kakabam and everything. And thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please, I beg you to subscribe. And again, if you this is your first time and you want to, you want to know more about this uh, fish hashing and fish farming business, you have to subscribe to this channel. Go through our videos. We have a lot of interesting videos that can guide you in whatever that you are doing. Thank you once more again for watching. Bye-bye. See you till tomorrow.